Shalini and Arun were very angry with their father. How can you do this to us, Daddy? Our house is so small. There is no place for another person here. Especially for an old-fashioned, narrow-minded person like Granny. It was the news that their grandmother was going to stay with them permanently that had led to this outburst. Yes, children, you must not be selfish. Granny has nowhere to go after your grandfather died. Stop it, both of you. That is no way to talk about your grandmother. Never, Daddy. I won't listen to them. This is exactly what I intend to do. Your granny will stay with us, like it or not. This is exactly what I intend to do. Your granny will stay with us, like it or not. So, granny arrived, bag and baggage, much to the children's annoyance, especially Shalini's. As if it isn't enough to have her in the house, I have to share my room too. Uh, Shalu, will you? Please don't call me Shalu, Granny. I'm not a baby anymore. But to me, you will always be my baby. Why? I remember the day when you were. Oh no! Here she goes off on her storytelling trip again. Excuse me, Granny, but I have other things to do. No one has the time for an old person like me. Mr. Mathur heard his mother's sad remark. Shalini, you must make our grandmother feel comfortable here. She's more than comfortable. It is I who have to live in like a refugee in my own house. Nonsense. Shalini, Arun, you too must spend some time with Granny. But his children's dislike of his mother had an adverse effect on Mr. Mathur's health. His blood pressure is very high. I'm afraid he will have to be admitted to the hospital. Oh no, children! I'll be spending most of my time with your father. But don't worry, Granny will take care of you. But Shalini and Arun found it difficult to adjust to Granny's ways. Shalini, come and give me a hand in the kitchen. You mean help you cook? But I don't know how to do. Well, then it is a high time for you to learn. For starters, you can peel these potatoes. Please make sure you don't throw the potato and cook the peeled sister, dear. Oh, shut up! It's not fair that you sit there lazing around while I have to slog. That's my privilege. No, it is not, young man. I want you to go to the bazaar and get the list of things right now. What the? Now give me all the cash that's there in the house, quick. There isn't much. You see, my son is ill in the hospital. Goodness me. A story even at such a time. Shut up, old woman. I am not interested in your life history. Just give me whatever there is. Hey, why are you going that way? Surely you don't keep your money in the kitchen. No, but I keep my cupboard keys there. After a few minutes, Granny came out with the money. But you just are. as the intruder reached ah. out for it. Help! Help! You devil! Wait till I lay my hands on you. The thief stumbled blindly around the room. No, you. Shalini, won't. who had been paralyzed with fear all this time, sprang into action. Well done, Shalini. Bravo, young lady. It was their neighbors who had gathered, hearing Granny's screams. It is not me, but Granny who deserves this praise. It was her presence of mind that inspired me. Bless you, my child. Wasn't that clever of Granny? I would never have thought of it. Thought of what? Shalini told Arun the whole story. I think we owe Granny an apology, Shalu. Yes, but more importantly, we must make up for our rude behavior to her.